What is going on guys? It is Ty the Jeep Guy and this is Judith the Jeep behind me and it has been a long time since I have posted a full-blown video. So in this one I'm going to give a breakdown on the road to Jamboree, everything that's been going on with uh, Judith here and get you filled in on what's going on this week and uh, why I decided to give Judith a little bit of a facelift. The thrill of the wild. One vehicle captures that feeling with the strength and agility to master most any terrain. Nothing stands in its way. Jeep, like nothing you've ever driven. There's a feeling you can get only in a Jeep. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a brief breakdown of all the things we've gotten done to Judith the Jeep over the time period that I've been missing. Uh, really, it's been a lot of facelift, a lot of kind of improving things that I've already done got a couple new parts on there so let's dive right into it and I'll explain each bit so first off we installed a warrior products rock crawler winch bumper with the d-rings now I got to give a huge shout out to I think it's Eric Blackburn one of their customer service reps this guy so I didn't even order it through them I ordered it through uh, Morris 4x4 and I reached out to them they answered every single question I had he told me where it was in each part of uh, kind of getting fabricated getting powder coated he even let me know when it was running behind and he still went out of his way to make sure that I had it to install for our Jeep Jamboree coming up this week also as you can see here I still got my Smitty built 9,500 pound winch it's still working pretty well I had a, a huge shout out to bleeping Colt over at bleeping Jeep he hooked me up with a nice synthetic rope to kind of update and give it a bit of a facelift I've been wanting to switch to this for a little bit so big shout out to you Colt thanks again man if you can bear the wind just a little bit longer, I'm going to go over the biggest upgrade that we have put on Judith, in my opinion, besides the sliders and besides, well, a motor in the future. Uh, it's going to be this tire carrier system. It was built by Metal Guy LLC here in Keystone. The guy absolutely knocked it out of the park. Now, I don't know if he's taking commissions right now. Uh, he, we worked together, so he was able to get me taken care of. It's based off of a JCR do-it-yourself kit. Then we've got the eBay kind of bumper tie-ins. They go way into the unibody, bolt up with my gas tank skid and just tie it all together. With my unibody stiffeners, if I'm able to pull this thing free, I mean, we got a whole nother set of issues. He tied in my rocker knockers into the bottom and into the wheel well. He reinforced the inside of that wheel well. That way it's not going anywhere at all. I'm able to jack it off. I am able to jack it up from the rocker knocker there that way i could get it up set some drag stands under it that kind of thing so i've got a jack point there he was able to mount this wrangler uh, um, fold gown plate which i've been wanting to use one of these for a while i wanted to use it on my old one but it just didn't work out it was sitting too close to the body and it would take immense amounts of modification so we just decided to build our own so like i said it was built off of a jcr do-it-yourself kit he built and cnc the plates for my spindle I have hit it a couple times. That's the only thing that I've really kind of bounced off of when it comes to Iceman. That's the only trail I've really hit any of this stuff on. Uh, the tire carry itself, it's all custom. I mean, he did incredible work. He CNC the support braces to move the tire carrier out while still keeping it close to the body and allowing me to run this little fold down table here. Got a nice little bottle opener. Pretty much all the stuff that I asked him to, to put, which I've got a little uh, a piece of paper that I just drew everything out and I was like, here, make this happen. And he killed it. I mean, he did everything I wanted. He got it all set up. It looks really good and it's been doing the part. So another upgrade that I found was actually off of eBay. It's this six light switch bezel that is, I mean, it looks super clean if you can get a look at it. it you do lose your constant 12 volt hot, but I took that all the way to the back for the fridge and I'm gonna leave my keyed, but it gives you six switch ports for like the factory looking style. So I've got, you know, my engine fan, I'll have high idle, my locker and my compressor all wire, wired in there. Once I get home right now, I'm just using my engine fan on there and then the factory stuff as well. So once I get home, I'll be able to wire that stuff all up with the switches I got off of eBay. So I do have this really cool Wrangler net. Um, it was, well, it's from the website Wrangler. It's for the Cherokee. Now it's got some cool system. So you can put like Molly gear on there or the Molly, however you call it, use them as headrests. It ties into where your seat belts are, down where your seat folds down and down under the seat there. So if I were to ever tip, I mean, yeah, it's loose, but it's gonna be keeping everything back there. That way it doesn't come forward and take one of us out. 
All right, so the party isn't over yet. I still have several things to do, like fix my switches up top. I had a wire in all my lights. For some reason, I lost power, and all I did was remove my old lights. So I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, I got to tidy up a couple odds and ends. Now, not only have I been building the yellow Jeep, but I've also had some really big life changes. I ended up getting married. Uh, when I say ended up, we've been together like six years. So that has been a whole other task that I've been trying to put as much effort and focus on as well. And especially with Jeep Jamboree coming up, you know, that's a really big uh, event in my life as well. That's tomorrow. So I'm hoping to have this video out within the week and then I'll get all my event coverage and, and kind of put that all together for you guys. Being a guide, I'm always trying to make sure that everybody else is getting through the trail. That is the first importance to me out there so I don't really have the opportunity to film because my second priority is getting my Jeep through it. So I will catch you guys on the trails. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep on Jeeping on.